Hello guys, it's Laura and you are watching Laura X Annie and today I'm here with my bookshelf tour which I have been trying to film for the past two and a half years. I've just never done it. I'm so happy with it now so I'm so happy to show you it and uh, I hope you enjoy. Okay, so this is the top shelf of my bookshelf. This goes from red to orange to yellow to green to blue. Um, I've colour coded my shelf. Also, these are some lovely lights that if I go like this, they should turn on. You can't really see it in the camera because it's really light today, but um, my, <laughs> my bookcase is still decorated for Halloween. Um, but I have a few things on my bookshelf, so I have the Some, Girl, Some Girls My Girls Get Over It, which I got at uni in the Freshers' Fair. Then we have Draco Malfoy's Wand, and that's really it. I think my favourite book from the red section... Have I read most of these books? No, I haven't. <laughs> and as you can see, Harry Potter is in between them. Um, they are not in order due to the fact that I just didn't put them in order because I wanted the colour more. But um, some of my new purchases um, on this top shelf are When the Curtain Falls by Carrie Hope Fletcher and I think that's kind of it actually for new purchases. Oh and also Tales of Beedle the Bard which is just right in between Depression and other magic tricks and Fantastic Beasts. <laughs> so that's the top shelf. Okay so this is the second shelf of my bookcase which is mainly blue um, with a teeny wee bit of purple. Um, I have a lot more blue books than anything else. Sorry, I've got the cold if you hear me sniffling behind the camera. Um, on this shelf I have a glitter pumpkin. I have my glowing red eyes uh, skull, which you would have seen in my Halloween haul, which if you haven't seen will be to the left or the right of your screen. Um, and also I have Zoella's uh, aka Zoe Suggs, a new lifestyle candle, which is called Midnight Wonder. It smells really nice actually. But um, you find this is a shelf I have a lot more of my most read books. So, because, I don't know why, because it's blue, but I just feel like I've read a lot more of them. So I have read um, No Time for Goodbye, which is one of my favourite books of all time. Same with Looking for Alaska. Um, I've also read the Fifty Shades trilogy, of course. Girl Online on Tour, I think I have read that. In fact, that's a signed edition, I think. Is it? Or was going solo? We're going to check. I have a funny feeling this is a signed edition. I could be wrong. Oh no, I'm right. Yeah, there we go. So, um, my newest purchase from this shelf is the Anxiety Journal, which is really, really good. Now, this is my third shelf. Now, this is a lot more purple, pink and white with a bit of grey at the end. So, only thing on this shelf that I have is my little black glitter pumpkin. Yeah, so I think there's a couple of new things I bought put on this shelf, have I? Yes, I have a uh, Dodie. Um, Secrets of the Mad, which is her newest book, which is really good, and The F Word by Lily Pebbles. Um, also, uh, <laughs> what I have read on this shelf, um, there is actually, is there a few? I feel like there's a few. Um, Afterburn, Aftershock by Sylvia Day, I've read. Um, you'll find, I've not read a lot of these books. Finding Audrey, I think I'm halfway through that. The Witch Doesn't Burn in this one, it's a brilliant poetry book by Amanda Lovelace, it's her second, it's so, so good. Um, what else have I missed? Girl Missing, one of my all time favourite books. <laughs> the Spanish Tragedy, I've read for uni. Uh, what else? 13 Reasons Why and Criminal by Karen Slaughter uh, is amazing. Criminal by Karen Slaughter is amazing. And Endgame is a play by Samuel Beckett. It's so good. And if you watch the movie version, if you're a Harry Potter fan, David Lewis and Michael Gambon are in it, which is so good. Um, but yeah, so that's my most recent read on that shelf would be Finding Audrey. So this shelf is contains a lot more of my most read books. Um, all the black section. And on this shelf we have uh, Sirius Black and Remus Lupin pop vinyls. Um, so the books, my most recent uh, buy on this bookshelf is The Hamlet, which is next to The Princess Saves Herself in this one. Um, that is my most recent purchase on this shelf, as well as actually Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Slytherin edition. Um, but yeah, so this is all kind of browns to blacks, 
What I have read on this shelf is um, Coriolanus, the bigger version, not the Tom Hiddleston version. I have two versions of it. Um, I've also read Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. The Prince, uh, Princess Saves Herself in this one, which is an amazing, amazing. Amanda Lovelace, that's her first book, honestly. Seriously, read it. Um, I have half read Alan Turing the Enigma. Uh, I have read the Beard to You Crossfire series, which is Beard to You Entwined with You and Reflected in You. I have yet to finish reading uh, Captivated by You and I've yet to start one with you because then that means the series is finished and I really, really liked it. And Hamlet at the end which I have taken to London with me because I love it very much. But um, yeah, oh and also uh, one of the Thebian plays, uh, which is Greek tragedy. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of a wee bit more, I guess more plays and more kind of like older books. Like a lot of the ones up above the shelves are a lot more fictiony, like as in child young fiction, whereas these are a lot more kind of older. Also, I can't wait to start the Patrick Melrose series, uh, volume one and volume two. Um, so yeah, that is this shelf and obviously I have my big, the complete works of Sherlock Holmes. So this so, yeah. shelf is a bit kind of mixed and matched. So this is my second to bottom shelf. So I have um, four Shakespeare plays which are all the Wordsworth editions which is As You Like It, Macbeth, Much Do About Nothing and Romeo and Juliet. And I also have um, the eight monologues created by Mark Gatiss which is called Queers which if you haven't seen is amazing and haven't read it's amazing. That skull is from Asda, um, it was only £4 and then this is a photo of me, my grand and my grandpa who have sadly passed um, but I love that photo so much. And then over here we have four of my most, well they actually are my four most recent purchases, they all had the same publication day and we also have Draco Malfoy. So it's uh, Feminists Don't Wear Pinks and Other Lies uh, by Scarlett Curtis, curated by Scarlett Curtis, it has like Zoe Sugg and Tanya Burr and Cam Gillan all essays inside it, it's amazing. Then I have Wicca by Harmony Nice, then I have Overshare by Rose and Rosie, and then I have Cordially Invited by Zoe Sugg, which is signed, um, which is amazing. And I do have a signed book insert uh, in the Wicca one as well, which I won. So yeah, that's my four most recent purchases. Um, I'm very excited to read them all. I actually use, if you guys have seen my Halloween baking video, which will be to the left or the right of your screen, I did the pumpkins from Cordially Invited. But that is where they stay just now. Until I can think of a better place to put them because my shelves are starting to get a bit more full that I'm gonna have to start moving things about. For this shelf, it's a bit, this is my bottom shelf. So there's two sections to this shelf. The first section is magazines. If you don't know, I'm a bit of a hoarder. And I keep a lot of magazines, especially if they're kind of more expensive magazines or more kind of, I don't know if like celebrities are on them. So the top I have Marie Claire, which has Jodie Whittaker on it. Then I have May and August of GQ, which I'm sure has Dua Lipa and Cara Delevingne on it. Then we have Selena Gomez's Tober L, Matt Smith GQ. Roller Coaster, the top one is, mo they're my most recent purchases. The top one is uh, Jenna Coleman and the bottom Roller Coaster is Tanya Barr. Then we have Reputation. Then what you can't see underneath it is, um, I have one, two, three, four, five Cosmopolitans uh, from most recent to oldest. I have Lily Allen, oh, Tessa Holiday, Camila Cabello, Zoe Saldana, and Zoe Sugg. Then I have two glamour beauty books. The blue one is a uh, Kylie Jenner and the orange one is Zoe Sugg. Then I have four, three glamours and it's sad I actually know what ones they are but I don't know which ones those ones are. Then I have the, oh I, the August one I know is Vanessa Kirby, I'm sure. <laughs> the, the August 2018 uh, Marie Claire is Vanessa Kirby. The February 2016 Vogue cover, I'm sure is Dakota Johnston. Uh, the In Style is Maisie Williams. Uh, the pink one, the yellow one is Selena Gomez. Then I've got the Vanity Fair Holiday Edition 2017 to 2018. Couldn't tell you who that is. Vanity Fair November 2016 is Benedict Cumberbatch, I know that much. There's a Vanity Fair Oh, on art which came with it. Then we have 
to Empire Magazine's uh, November 2016, which was Doctor Strange, Luke Cage, Jack Reacher, Never Go Back and Anna Kendrick. Then the December 2015 which one, which is Suicide Squad, Warcraft, Oscars Preview, The Revenant and Black Mass. Then I have um, another magazine, I think it's a TV Times for Sherlock. And then I have Crime Scene Issue 1, which was a Sherlock one. And it talks about Ian Rankin as well. So that's that bottom shelf of all the magazines. It's going to bug me who those glamour ones are, but I cannot for the life of me tell you who they are. <laughs> and over here we have, um, so behind me, I have a white um, stand. If you have watched like my uni haul, you will know that I used it for beauty at uni. But now I use it as a DVD holder and I have far, far too many DVDs. I might do a DVD collection at one point. But down here are kind of my most recent purchases or movies that I need to watch soon. So we obviously have Harry Potter, um, the complete box set, the Tudors, um, which is a most recent purchase, and the White Queen, uh, White Princess, which is a most recent purchase, because I'm going to go see Six the Musical in December, so I'm trying to watch them. Nightmare Before Christmas, Brokeback Mountain, The Fault in Our Stars, Victor Frankenstein, Saving Mr Banks, Kill Your Darlings, The Greatest Showman, Casino Royale, and Avengers Infinity War. Um, the only one I have had for, the actually the one in there that I've had for the longest is Brokeback Mountain. Um, the rest of them are kind of recent aid purchases um, that I have got. Um, uh, but The Greatest Showman I bought on a whim and still haven't watched it yet. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's my bookcase. So that is the bottom shelf. So that was my bookshelf tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I will be back next week with my Harry Potter collections part one and part two Tuesday and Friday next week so I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!